So you can see whilst I'm using lots of different colours, you can see that the effect is very similar to the photograph. So, but it looks a lot more interesting and it's a lot more lively. Now, as I start getting closer and therefore toward the bottom of the canvas, I'm going to start creating more contrast. So here was larger, longer marks, letting the colours blend a little bit and mix. And as I start getting closer, I'm going to create and once you're in bottom ground, you can be stronger in colour, can't you? Bigger in texture, bigger in mark. Absolutely. Because that bottom ground is really right on top of you. Yes. So you can afford to go completely wild. You sort of almost want to run your fingers through it. You yes. Should, yeah, feel like you can almost touch it. I mean, you could even blade it, couldn't you? You could lay it on quite thickly. Absolutely, that would be really fun. And so putting it on nice and thick, so you've got all this lovely texture. It's a nice way of using texture, sort of almost having a physical presence. Uh, but yes, you could use knives to put it on a lot thicker as well. Um, also, what you'll notice in the inspiration is that there are little breakouts of green as well within the lavender, bluebells even, within the bluebells. So I'm being careful about how I put those on because these greens, if they mix with the blues and the purples, are going to go a bit muddy. So I'm just... Yeah, so that's all about pressure, isn't it? Just letting that paint lie. If you kept working that paint, you'd obviously pick the purple up and it would go all muddy and nasty, but you're just mark making. You're not pushing, blending not, that paint in at all? Absolutely, I'm not pushing it around. I've actually got quite a lot of paint on my brush and I'm almost just sort of coaxing it on there quickly. And if I do go over it too many times, see, look what happens. You just yeah. start getting that mud. But the great thing with acrylics is that'll dry in a minute and we can change that. Um, you know, when it comes to brush marks as well, if you're struggling and thinking, well, I don't know what brush mark to do, well, starters, just try. Just fiddle, just think about how you're holding a brush, try long ones, short ones, think about what part of the brush you're using, but also look at other artists' work, look at other impressionists, see if you can see and identify not only their brush marks, but see if you can see what brush they're using as well.